Hey Aquarius, thank you so much for coming to your love reading. With that being said, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, or possibly for the Cross Watchers. Um, if you haven't already, please like, share, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell if you want to receive alerts for when I post. And um, with that being said, we're going to go over your guys' overall moon message when it pertains to love. What is your situation? How do you feel about the situation? Your hopes, your fears. So Aquarius, with that being said, Let's go ahead and hop into your guys' uh, bi-weekly love reading. All right, Aquarius, what's going on for Aquarius? What's the overall moon message for Aquarius with love? Ooh, a new romantic cycle begins. Libra, I love that, that's so beautiful. That is one of my favorite ones, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, what is the current situation for Aquarius? Okay, Queen of Wands, that is the situation. Leo, uh, Sag, or Aries. Um, how does Aquarius feel about this situation? Possibly dealing with a Virgo. Okay, um, and what are their hopes and fears romantically? Okay, Page of Wands. I feel like you guys are ready for something to get started. I feel like you guys are tired of being left out. You guys are tired of being in your head about things like you're ready for things to start moving forward for you and i feel like you're ready for a new start with whoever is coming into your life maybe you guys know them maybe it's somebody from work i don't know yet okay what is the overall uh overall outcome for aquarius okay express your love you aquarius i'm here for it of course that one has to be wonky and a little bit off my luck okay so as far as your guys's new moon i think that's new moon it's not a full moon is it new moon in libra i love this i don't know why i love the libra full moon the most maybe because like when it comes to love like this is definitely you know the romantic mood um, it also could be like you guys, whatever your situation is, it, it's kind of asking you to have that give take, okay? Especially when it comes to love or, or some type of compromise pertaining to love. It's also time to start negotiating or either renegotiating like, you know, your love life. Like maybe you guys see each other Tuesdays and Thursdays and you're like, hey, I want to see you Monday, Wednesday, Friday now because I want an extra day with you, right? Um, Anytime this comes up, it's kind of like a restart. So definitely a restart pertaining to love. Um, it could also uh, be a new relationship that's beginning. Or, you know, if you guys are currently in a relationship, this is a good sign that you guys are going to have a healthy and well-balanced connection. Okay. Um, something that's kind of interesting too, especially with Libra, it's telling you to do things in pairs. It's like advising you to team up with somebody. Um, especially when it comes to your personal life. And it's also saying that whoever you guys are in love with or curious about when it comes to love, it's important to have a heart to heart conversation, which is funny because you have, you know, express yourself over here. Um, and you know, talk things out with the person that you care about because more than likely they want, they feel the same way that you do. So feel more, think less, you know, definitely could possibly be a marriage or an engagement card. Um, if you guys are having any legal matters, like this is definitely a good sign that things are going to go your way and pay attention to your appearance right now. Um, but don't be like overly, you know, I don't know. It's like pay attention, but then like don't overdo it as well. Okay. Also too. Sometimes, hopefully, the Libras won't kill me right now, but don't be selfish. Sometimes Libras have a, tend, a tendency to be selfish a little bit. So be very, very careful with what you're asking for and it, is it something that you would return, okay? Why is this Queen of Wands a situation for Aquarius? Okay, the Sun card. You guys are probably dealing with a Leo, okay? I feel like this person makes you happy or, you know, you're coming up as this Queen of Wands. Um, or this person could be man or female. Maybe they're taking on the attributes of this. Why are you showing me this? What, what's causing this? The hermit, maybe a Virgo. Um, maybe you guys have had a period of time to yourself where you've had the ability to really, really think about what makes you happy. And it's forcing you to come from this queen of swords into this uh, queen of wands. 
Now, I always say this, but I do feel like the Queen of Wands is the most beautiful of all the queens. I feel like, you know, her hair's done, nails done, you know, outfits right, looking fly, you know what I mean? Like, I definitely feel like this queen is somebody who everybody wants to know, but few do. And I feel like they're always out and about moving and shaking. So with that being said, I do feel like, you know, you're transforming into this Queen of Wands right now because, you know, it's asking you to come out of the cycle of this hermit and turn into something much, much happier. And if you were alone for a period of time, you know, it's saying it, the time has come, it's time to change that and it's time to kind of get back out there and have a level of communication, okay? How do you feel about this? It's the Eight of Pentacles, which is also Virgo, with the lovers. Maybe you guys are dealing with the Gemini. I feel like you guys are really trying to work things out, you know, with your financial life. I feel like with your physical life. I feel like it's like you guys are putting together the pieces of the puzzle that make you happy. Uh, for some reason, Aquarius, like if you guys weren't happy prior to this, and maybe this could be somebody at your job, but... It's like you're you're getting back to this place where you're in love again. You're getting back to this place where you're allowing yourself to be happy and you're coming out of this hermit. But you've had to do a lot of work, a lot of self-work, and also, you know, refocusing your energy on something that, you know, you feel is worthy to invest in. And I definitely get that here, especially with the lover's card. So definitely Gemini, maybe, you know, you're making it work with a gem. Who knows? All right, so your hopes or fears with this situation, you have the Page of Wands. Why is this here? For Aquarius. What is this? Ooh, with the Four of Wands. Okay, I do. I think you guys want a new start, maybe with an Aries. Um, but it's like there's something here around foundation and practicality and structure. You guys are ready to settle down right now. You guys are ready to give something a chance to grow and something to mature. You're in a position where things are finally kind of coming to an end and at that final stages of that culmination. And now you're you're taking kind of like the bull by the horns and you're pushing it through. And that's why you're showing up as this queen of wands. Okay. Now, for your guys' outcome, you guys have expressed yourself or expressed your love, right? Go ahead and make romantic gestures. So... Who are you making these towards? How does your partner feel about you? How do they feel about you kind of transforming into this queen of wands? Or if you are, you know, interested in the queen of wands, maybe this is your situation. Maybe you're looking at a Leo or a, you know, a Virgo here. So Aquarius, hopefully this makes sense and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.